First thing you're gonna do is tape your Model Magic disc to your color wheel worksheet. So just put a piece of tape on the back, and this is just temporary. Um, but you want to try to center it as best as you can. As best as you can. Um, then you're gonna take a skinny Sharpie and a ruler, and you're gonna start drawing your lines. So you're gonna match up where, it's, where each line goes straight through your color wheel that you what you see on the worksheet. And you're just gonna draw your lines that way. So it doesn't matter where you start. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly meeting in the center either. All right, so those two are matched up. Draw slowly with your Sharpie pen. If you draw fast, it's not gonna look like a line. It's just gonna be really spacey. Okay, then just go one over, doesn't matter which direction. This is the only, this, these two lines are the only lines where it doesn't really matter if they meet in the middle because there's not a middle yet. So those two lines are fine, but now every other line that you draw, you need to make sure that it hits the center. And when you line them up, and mine, see how mine is just a little bit off? It's not quite in the center, but it's touching these two lines. Well, then you have to move it slightly so it is in the middle. It doesn't matter if there's some pie pieces that are bigger or smaller than the one next to it, but it does matter that they all meet in the middle. So give it another turn. Line up those lines first. And if it doesn't meet in the middle, again, mine's not quite in the middle. You need to move it just slightly so it does. All the way around. So you'll have six lines that you need to draw. Line it up. It's not in, not in the middle here. I'm sliding it over. All right, one more. So I'm lining it up, it's not in the middle, sliding it over. So now when you're done, you should have them all meeting in the middle. I can see some are a little bit smaller than others. Um, even if they're a lot smaller than others, it does not matter as long as you meet in the middle. Then you can use this sheet or this um, diagram here to help you. There's the primary and secondary colors already read, written in. You just have to kind of turn your color wheel a little bit if you want it to line up with um, the colors that are written here. And then the in intermediate colors are in between. So like here we have red and orange. So if you color this one red and this one orange, then you know this one is the intermediate color of these two colors and it's red orange. So what I think is helpful if you go and you write them all the way around the intermediate colors, yellow and orange, Y-O for yellow orange, and so on. You can look at the color wheel that I'll have up in the classroom to help you with that. And it doesn't really matter where you start coloring as long as you, before you start, refer back to what you have written here to make sure it lines up. And then the intermediate colors that you'll be using, they're actually marked with the letters on it. So blue, green, and that would be right here. I didn't write in the B, G yet. But so you would use that color for this one all the way around. Make sure you color the edges also.